And how long have you kept the captive? Since this morning. Very well. I'm glad nobody interrupted my hunting trip like last time. Well, well. Look what we have here. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Did they tie you up? You must excuse the manners of my swordsman. After all, I do intend to treat you like a guest. Look at me. I said, look at me. <laughs> Obstinate, aren't you? Well, we'll need to work on that. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll soon realize that it's better for both of us if you listen. Mm. Such pretty eyes. Just as I had imagined. And, yes, I can sense that you mean no harm. Hmm. Unwilling to harm? Or unable to harm? <laughs> anyway, if you ever get the idea, I'd like to see you try. Just remember, I can always make things harder for you. <laughs> oh, don't look like that. I'll be good to you. Guards, go man the door. I want nobody else here. <laughs> See? I told you I'd be good to you. And let me just... Mm -hmm. There. I hope they didn't tie you up too tightly. Oh no, don't get up. I quite like seeing you like this. Yes, on the floor. Plus, the carpet is pretty comfortable, no? <laughs> good. Very good. Now... Let me tell you why exactly you were brought here. Rather unceremoniously, as I gather. I am the master of this castle. I have known for years now of a prophecy concerning this place. A prophecy that may be coming into fruition soon. I have studied this prophecy extensively and instructed my swordsman to locate someone I think best matched that description. Someone like you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, but you fit the description so perfectly. Those eyes, that hair, the scar right here. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. You may think of this as a trial period. You need not know the details. All you need to know is that I will provide for you during your time here. Whatever you may require. And if you are not the one foretold in the prophecy, then I will let you go. But until then, I would advise you be on your best behavior. As my court will tell you, I can be very loving when I want to be. What you have to do? <laughs> well, that is quite simple. 
I am offering you a place to stay, a warm bed, good food. I am even saving you the trouble of having to go fulfill this prophecy. Should you really be the one. The least you can do for now is be a gracious guest and keep me company. <laughs> As I said, you need not know the details. If you prove yourself trustworthy, then I will reveal more over time. But right now, I think we need to do something about that. Yes, that. Now, rise. Let us go pick out something more fitting for you to wear, shall we? Mm, of course. You are only to wear what befits a guest. As I mentioned, you should have everything you need in here. Now, let's see. Mm. Yes, this tunic suits you well. Dark green. Mm. Let's pair that with brown. All right, these should do. Well, don't just stand there. Put it on. But... But what? <sighs> I said, put it on. <laughs> Good. You're getting better at taking commands. Now, turn around. Let me do up the ties at the back. Hmm? Why, of course they're in your size. You underestimate how much I've prepared for this. Your hair. Hmm. I'll ask one of my girls what we can do about it. Now. Did I mention that this will be the room? you're sleeping in for now yes my guards are close by so you will be rather safe in a sense <laughs> and of course if you require anything new clothes food entertainment books you need only ask, and I will provide, as I said. Come here. <laughs> Such pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. What's that? My name? <laughs> Have you earned the privilege to address me by name? Hmm, let's see. I am open to a number of titles. The girls call me master. To the swordsman, I'm usually my lord. You may settle on any as you see fit. Now, I'm sure you are quite overwhelmed with the ordeal. Do take a rest. That's an order. I believe there is sleepwear in the wardrobe along with everything else. Someone will ring you for dinner later. And then I suppose I can give you a tour of the castle, if I'm in the mood. <laughs> and until then, 
Enjoy your stay.